Welcome back to Finance Homefront. All right, if you're someone with a hefty income, this video is tailored just for you. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're diving into a topic that's crucial for high income earners, how to invest wisely to maximize your wealth. Now, before we begin, a quick disclaimer. While I used to be a financial advisor, I'm not providing financial advice in this video. Instead, I'll be sharing insights and strategies to help you make informed investment decisions and optimize your financial future. So if you're ready to learn how to make your money work harder for you, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and hit that like button below. Let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about the optimal place to park your money as a high earner cash reserves, also known as your emergency fund. No matter what you choose to call it, having a substantial amount of liquid cash readily available is paramount. Life throws unexpected curveballs at us all the time. Your child may sustain an injury during a weekend soccer game. Your vehicle might require urgent repairs after a collision with a curb, or your trusty computer could suddenly decide to call it quits. By ensuring you have enough cash set aside, these sudden expenses transform from potentially devastating events to mere inconveniences. For me, the focus lies on accessibility and ease of use. While high yield certificates of deposit, CDs, may seem attractive, I prefer the simplicity of a regular checking or savings account. Sure, you might miss out on some extra interest, but the ability to access your funds without any penalties outweighs that for me. The amount you hold in your emergency fund should align with your risk tolerance and recurring expenses. Personally, I aim to cover up to 12 months of expenses, but this figure can vary depending on your career stability and risk appetite. Moving on to the next crucial investment avenue for high earners. Maximizing your contributions to your employer's 401k plan, particularly up to the employer match. Think of this as free money. If your company matches your contributions up to a certain percentage, you're essentially doubling your investment instantly. Plus, you're also reducing your taxable income, which translates to further savings. Let me explain a bit further on what matching is. A 401k matching program is a type of employee benefit offered by some employers to help their employees save for retirement. Here's how it typically works. 1. Employee Contributions Employees enrolled in a 401k retirement plan can choose to contribute a portion of their salary to the plan on a pre-tax basis, up to certain annual limits set by the IRS. 2. Employer Matching Contributions some employers offer to match a portion of their employees' contributions to the 401k plan. The employer's matching contribution is typically based on a percentage of the employee's contribution, up to a certain limit. For example, an employer might offer a 100% match on the first 3% of the employee's salary contributed to the 401k plan. This means that if an employee contributes 3% of their salary to the plan, the employer will match that contribution dollar for dollar. If the employee contributes more than 3%, the employer may still contribute, but the match may be capped at a certain percentage or dollar amount. Four, vesting. It's important to note that employer matching contributions may be subject to a vesting schedule which determines when employees become entitled to the employer's contributions. Vesting schedules can vary by employer, but typically range from immediate vesting to a graded vesting schedule over a certain number of years of service. Overall, 401k matching programs incentivize employees to save for retirement by providing additional contributions from their employer, effectively boosting their retirement savings. It's a valuable benefit that can help employees accelerate their progress towards their retirement goals. Another savvy move for high earners is participating in your company's Employee Stock Purchase Plan, ESPP. A company's Employee Stock Purchase Plan, ESPP, 
is a program that allows employees to purchase company stock at a discounted price, typically through payroll deductions. Here's how it generally works. One, enrollment. Employees who are eligible to participate in the ESPP can typically enroll during specified enrollment periods, which may occur semi-annually or annually. Two, contribution. Once enrolled, employees can choose to contribute a portion of their paycheck to the ESPP on a pre-tax basis, up to a certain percentage or dollar limit determined by the plan. Three, purchase periods. ESPPs typically operate in purchase periods, which are often six months long. During each purchase period, employee contributions accumulate. Four, discounted purchase price. At the end of the purchase period, the accumulated contributions are used to purchase company stock at a discounted price. The discount is often set at a predetermined percentage, such as 10% below the fair market value of the stock at the beginning or end of the purchase period, whichever is lower. Five, shares purchased. The accumulated contributions are used to purchase shares of company stock on behalf of participating employees. The number of shares purchased depends on the discounted purchase price and the amount of contributions made by each employee. Six, tax considerations. The discount received on the purchase of company stock through an ESPP may be subject to taxation as ordinary income. Additionally, any gains realized when selling the purchased stock may be subject to capital gains tax. Seven, risk. While participating in an ESPP can provide employees with an opportunity to purchase company stock at a discount, it's important to consider the risks involved. Company stock prices can fluctuate and employees may experience losses if the stock price decreases after purchasing shares through the ESPP. Overall, an employee stock purchase plan can be a valuable benefit for employees providing them with an opportunity to purchase company stock at a discounted price and potentially build wealth over time. However, employees should carefully review the terms and conditions of the ESPP, as well as consider their own financial situation and investment goals before participating. But let's not overlook the importance of paying down high interest debt, such as credit card debt or student loans. Carrying such debt only serves to make others richer at your expense. Adopting a focused approach to debt repayment, whether it's through the debt snowball or avalanche method, can help you regain control of your finances and pave the way for future investments. Now let's circle back to tax advantaged accounts, maxing out your contributions to your 401k and HSA can yield substantial tax benefits not to mention the potential for long-term growth. And if you're ineligible for a traditional Roth IRA due to high income, don't overlook the backdoor Roth IRA strategy as a viable alternative. For those seeking to diversify their investment portfolio, real estate can be a lucrative avenue to explore. Whether it's through direct ownership of rental properties or investing in real estate investment trusts, R-R-E-I-T's. Adding real estate to your financial arsenal can provide stability and additional income streams. Lastly, don't forget to address any low interest debt you may have. While some may argue in favor of investing instead of paying off such debt, prioritizing peace of mind and financial freedom is equally valid. In conclusion, the key to financial success as a high earner lies in strategic allocation and prudent decision making. By prioritizing cash reserves, maximizing tax advantaged accounts, diversifying investments and tackling debt responsibly, you can build a solid financial foundation that withstands the test of time. Thank you for tuning in and here's to your financial well-being. Until next time, take care.